Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I've gone monitor crazy. Five monitors connected to my Mac Mini. Three are hardwired, and two are using screen mirroring. So just a quick demo, we're on the iPad Pro. We move over to the UPerfect 16-inch OLED, then over to my new KTC 2K $100 monitor, and my MacBook Air, finally over to the Aorus 48-inch OLED. That's crazy. And here they are running all separate Apple screensavers, which is impressive that the Mac Mini can output all this video and still be silky smooth, including the Dolphins. So while you can only use one AirPlay device, like a second Mac or an Apple TV connected to a monitor, you can also use Sidecar together with the AirPlay device. And I don't know if I got lucky here because when I went to try this again in the display settings, it would only let me add the iPad or the MacBook Air. So I just added the iPad and now I'm gonna go try and add the MacBook Air as well. And it just switched and the iPad disappeared. But I found if I had the iPad working already, I could then go up to the menu bar to screen mirroring and also select the MacBook Air. So that's a little odd that you can do it there, but you can't do it under display settings. I don't get that. And if I try to do it in the reverse, select the MacBook Air first and then the iPad, I would get this error. Unable to connect to Lance's iPad, Sidecar is not available when AirPlay screen is active. So I think I definitely stumbled onto a trick here. You have to have the iPad in Sidecar mode first, then you can select the other AirPlay screen mirroring device, but it has to be done in the upper menu bar. You can't do it in the display settings. In fact, even when they're both running at the same time in display settings, it shows that only the iPad is running. Weird. But when you click on the Arrange tab, all the displays show up. iPad Pro, UPerfect, KTC, MacBook Air, and the Aorus. They're all there. And of course, you can arrange them any way you want them. You just gotta click on it, drag it, move it around. It's a little quirky, but you just gotta make sure it's lit in red first to drag it to a new location. Another quirk, and I'm not sure why they have this happen, but when you switch to the external AirPlay monitor, your audio also automatically goes there. So every time I switch to the MacBook Air, I have to switch back to my sound card in the sound preferences. And it's pretty cool that you can have separate wallpapers on every monitor, or you can have them all be the same, and you can run separate screensavers on each monitor or have them all be the same. So that's a nice option. So that is pretty wild, huh? Five monitors connected to the Mac Mini M4 Pro. All right, guys, that's it. Just wanted to show you that. Give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.